Welcome to a tutorial on how to set up Colorant's dual PC system. Colorant is a hardware integrated aim assist tool powered by external visual recognition technologies. The dual system of Colorant, which I will be walking through today, is designed for maximum security and performance due to the lack of applications running on your game computer. I will be going through the guide on the website right here and if you would prefer the tutorial in a written format, I have linked the website in the description of this video. Now, first of all, you're going to need an Arduino Leonardo R3, a CP2102 to TTL. It's okay if yours doesn't look like mine, that's perfectly normal. And then last of all, you are going to want to get three jumper wires, male to female. Now, you're going to plug your first jumper wire into the GND on the R3 and then also plug that into the GND onto the CP2102. Next, you're going to find the 5V, plug it in into the Arduino Leonardo, and then plug the 5V into the CP as well. Make sure the text corresponds. Last of all, you're going to want to plug it into the RX0 on the Arduino Leonardo, and then plug that in to the TXD onto the CP2102. Now that you have finished all of the hardware setup required, on your second computer, it is time to go to colorant.gg slash dashboard. And then you are going to scroll down to download now. And let me just switch to my second PC very quickly. And then you're going to click download on the 1.0. And then this is the driver you need to also download, which I will link in the description. Now, once both of those have been downloaded, you should see the dual setup and the CP210X universal Windows driver. Extract it, which I've also done. Right click and then click install on the .inf folder. After that, it should say operation completed successfully. You are now going to click the dual setup.exe. Enter your license key, click login. And while this is happening, you're going to want to plug in your Arduino Leonardo into your second computer. Not the CP2102, the Arduino Leonardo. You're going to click Setup. Click the little reset button on the corner of the Arduino. It should say Flashing. And then once that has happened, it should say Flash Successful. And then now, the initial setup has been done. Now going back to the main PC, you're going to install OBS Studio, the NDI6 runtime plugin, and finally the Distro AV plugin, which I will also link in the description. After you've downloaded them, you're going to install them one by one. Which Now that you're done, let's go into OBS, go into settings. Now going into the advanced settings, you want to change your color format to the BGRA 8-bit. Now click apply, click OK. Next, we're going to add a source, click the plus button as shown. Click game capture and then click OK, OK. The default settings are perfectly OK. Click the middle and then click Ctrl D to center the preview. After that, click tools and then click on the Distro AV NDI settings. Click the main output, check the box, and then click OK. Now you should set up your hardware so that the Arduino Leonardo is plugged in to your main PC and your CP2102 into your second PC as shown in the image. Now you have finished the setup for the OBS NDI, it is time to go back to your second computer and download the colorant.exe file. Make sure that both computers are on the same network or else Colorant will not be able to detect the OBS output. If the NDI source is active when you log in, Colorant has detected the source, and you can now open your favorite full screen educational application. Once you open it, you can now plug your mouse into your second PC, and your setup should look like this image here. Click the Enable Mouse Pass-Through button to allow for you to move your mouse on your main computer. If you can move your mouse on your main computer but nothing is locking on, a really good idea would be to check if your OBS is capturing the middle of your screen and instead not some random corner. If it is capturing some random corner, an easy fix is to tab into OBS, double click your output 
input preview and then click Control plus D to align it in the middle and then that issue will be fixed. As always, thank you guys for supporting Colorant and if you have any sort of questions, feel free to make a ticket at discord.gg colorant.